Welcome to the RSP NFL Lens. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Ohio State running back Trey Sermon, the former Oklahoma star who really shined late this season for the Buckeyes before he got hurt in the national championship game early on here. But Sermon is a player that I profiled earlier this year before the the 2020 season to talk about his curvy linear movement, the ability to, to bend around defenders at a top speed. But he does a lot more than that. And I want to profile his movement a little more because I think he's one of the most complete backs in this class. And I think his movement skills are top notch. And you see it even here just to begin this run before he even really, you know, gets well into this run. You're going to see here, nice little dip. Keeps his feet up. See how his feet stay up as he works around traffic? Watch this some more here. As he works around traffic, watch how he gets his legs high. And then he uses the the tight strides here. But let's see. Kind of gets the feet up there through that contact. Watch the small little steps there to dip around so that he's conserving as much space as possible. And then works across the field. And even here. With 52 chasing him, you're going to see number 11 here who's trying to come off a block and turn around here. Watch the small steps there, the small stride length, the dip across number 11's face, then dip across 52, veer inside of that so that he can set up a block that way, and then fight this defender for the final 14 yards to get within the one. So you're seeing a back who really does a good job of being able to alter stride length, swivel his hips, really understand how to set up blockers, use the width of the field well, still be able to run at a good pace, even after working across the width and the length of the field, timing up the, that footwork change to be able to buy more space back to the inside and then fighting with that stiff arm. Excellent work here. This is a dynamic, powerful back, guy with good balance. Watch here. You're going to see him open up his hips right here. You're going to see it right there and get around the defensive end and then finish with that nice pad level here. Let's take a look at it from a different point of view. First, you're going to see as he presses deep, watch how he plants with that inside foot and then see how he opens up there. That's some excellent mobility. To be able to plant like that and to be able to flexion where you're able to get that wide in terms of you know your upper leg muscles to be able to have that kind of mobility that's excellent and that gets him across to the outside gets around the edge and then watch how he finishes this play gets his pads low dips his pad you know and his hip into the defender's shot and then the balance touch watch it one more time here there's that dip outside but watch how he protects the ball both hands and he's using this inside arm really as a ballast to take the contact here first. So that, therefore, the contact doesn't really go into the ball here. And then the balance touch right there. That helps. And see how he's able to keep that back flat and get his eyes up? The fact that he's got his eyes up right here and gets his head up through that contact allows him to gain nearly another five yards on this play. That's just excellent work right there to be able to just get low, come off that hit over the top, the balance touch, keep the feet moving, eyes up, fall forward. This isn't a big gain for Sermon, but I like the skills that you see within this, this catch. You're going to see him here as the check down option, just slide away from the underneath defender here towards the hash, catch the ball with overhand technique tuck it and watch as he breaks through that little reach right there by the linebacker and watch how he kicks he gets the front leg up and then the back leg kicks up and the fact that he kicks that back leg up is why he's able to work away from the shot of this defensive back and get away and then he attacks that defensive back head on to finish up here but look at that the fact that when he feels contact to his feet he knows to get his feet up his knees high work kick the heel upward and take a long stride it's, there's no way he can see that unless he has eyes in the back of his head and those little buck eyes i promise you 
they don't see very well on those helmets there. So this is just him understanding that when you feel that contact near your feet, get your knees high, get your kick up your ankle, kick up, kick up your heels, and get your heels as close to your butt as you possibly can when you make those strides, and you're going to be able to avoid pursuit like that. Beautiful work. And this is an underrated play too, because when you see a back be able to bounce against a safety to a narrow side of the field and get the narrow edge like that, watch that. Nice little cut, comes to balance, opens the hips once again. See how he points that toe to the outside, opens the hips, and look how quick he gets around that defender right here. Even just in slow-mo, when I let this go, See how fast he gets across the face of number 18 on that play? That's acceleration through your change of direction right there. Trey Sermon, I mean, I don't know what his 40 time is going to be, but I bet you, regard. I mean, honestly, regardless of whether he has a fast three-cone drill or a short shuttle or even if his 40 isn't, that fast this guy plays fast this guy moves well he moves efficiently and the quickness just shows up on the field and i wouldn't be surprised if he has a very fast change of direction timing at his pro day again look at the hips here you're going to see sermon do a great job of reading the penetration after the exchange and see how he gets that flexion where he bends the ankle and the knee of that inside leg. And then he's able to use the mobility of his hips to take that step outside and bend just enough with curvy linear movement around this linebacker who gets into the edge and dip away. And then be able to dip back downhill with that next step and, and get through here. And he works hard at the finish. So it's not just about the fact that he has this mobility and flexion and the vision to avoid defenders, but he can play tough when he gets through the line and watch him there, lower shoulders into the defensive tackle and then be able to push with his stiff arm there, that outside arm, and push that defender aside with the help of the tight end there, number 88. And then he's dragging number 93. Big boy right here with the reach at the, at the hips here. He's now got to grab that second, get that second arm on there to grab. And he's still pulled along a little bit for another two to three yards. So you're seeing a back who gets up to full speed pretty well. He's strong back. I mean, certainly, you know, number 99 isn't, isn't wrapping him. But the fact that he's got a good hold of that jersey and holding on right here. And he goes from, what, the 23 down to about the 19, maybe the 18. That's some momentum-based power right there. And he's able to generate that momentum-based power with a very short runway. This is a strong back, Trey Sermon. And again, when we take a look at his speed, I mean, here he is here, nice little job, dipping away from number 55. Again, opening the hips, nice flexion in the hips. To get that nice little bend, huge crease. A lot of these plays we're looking at are huge creases, but we're not really looking at his vision and how he hits small creases as much. You know, and we've seen what he's been able to do in terms of reading penetration early and make adjustments. What we're looking here is his movement skills. And you can see here he's got the burst to be able to work through the first two levels of, of defenders, the box defenders, and get in the open field. And look at what we have here with this defensive back, this the cornerback here. Now, if you notice this run from, you know, here's the cornerback up at the top, at the right flat. Sermon works through this, and as the as soon as he gets into the secondary, look how how little time it takes for him to gain ground. We're at the 19. By the time he's at the 29. He's gained ground on this defensive back in terms of getting even with the defensive back. And he's almost even with them here at the 49. Now at this point, he realizes that 
with the angle that he has, he needs to be able to make more, take a more evasive action. So he decides to dip and take the back of the defensive back on his left. Nice little stiff arm, knock him off balance. But the defensive back, the nickel back, is able to catch up here. And there he is. But that's because Sermon has to slow down a bit and change direction. But you can see that even though he gets caught from behind, we're talking about a player who basically takes this ball at the line of scrimmage of the seven. And until he has to change direction, he's already reached the 45 of the opponents. So we're talking about, you know, about a 48 yard gain here. That's a field flipping play with his speed as it is. More change of direction from Sermon. That's impressive. You're going to see him here work into the crease. Nice little stutter to get you know, into the crease. And he works around the defender right there to beat that safety. Watch the safety coming downhill. Right here. Right at the Colt symbol near the ear hole. Works upfield. Completely misses Sermon. Let's take a look at that from the end zone view. And you'll see Sermon's movement on this particular play. And why that's so cool. First of all, nice little press. He gets within about a couple of steps of the line here. The defender shooting through, you know, cleanly. So he makes this cut back earlier. Nice little stutter to set up the block with 78. Watch that one more time. Defender's working towards that side. He just presses that a little bit longer. See how he does that? And then he makes this cut. See that cut where he opens his hips once again? Very efficient work. You know, this is just the common theme is that different ways that he can apply his hip mobility. He does it with long strides. He does it with quick little moves and opening of the hips. He can do it at the first level behind the line of scrimmage. He can do it in the second level. That's a sweet move right there. And probably the underscoring theme, you know, for not only his ability to open his hips and all the different types of movement and variations of that we saw is that he has excellent balance for a back. I mean, this nice little stop-start movement, a lot of backs, when they make this type of stop-start movement, it's in a straight line heading downhill. This one, he kind of does that kind of bending back towards the left side where he came from and then curling back to the right side to avoid the wrap of a defender. And actually stiff arms the man and runs through it. Balance nearly has to balance touch and he was prepared to do it but didn't and there there it comes. There is where he's able to do that. Get back upright. Bend around a defender. Another stiff arm. And then watch this hurdle. Look how he has to hurdle kind of sideways there. And he's still able to land on his feet, balance touch, get another five to six yards on the play. So again, there's a lot of different things that Sermon does with his movement that's impressive. And a lot of it stems from his hips. It comes from his balance. It's ability, once again, to keep his head up so that when he loses his balance, watch him work his head upward. See how he kicks that head upward, keeps that back flat, is able to recover. And then when he gets that head up again, when he has to balance touch to extend, another balance touch, fall forward for another yard or two. This is an impressive back. I don't think a lot of people are talking about him as much as from what I'm seeing of some of the other backs in this class. But this guy could very well be one of the best, if not the best, back in this draft class. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP NFL Lens and Boiler Room videos and RSP Film Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.